The last person executed in Maryland was Wesley Eugene Baker. Baker was born to an underage rape victim on March 26, 1958, and suffered physical and sexual abuse during his childhood by his mother, stepfather and two teenage girls. At age 15, he fathered a child with a 28-year-old heroin user, while himself suffering from alcohol and heroin addiction. His first criminal conviction was for unauthorized use of a motor vehicle at 16 years old, for which he received three years in prison. In 1978, he was convicted of armed robbery and received 15 years in prison. Released after nine years, he was only a free man for two years, before being arrested again for weapons and drug-related offenses. Wesley Baker approached Jane Tyson, on June 6, 1991, in the parking lot of Catonsville's Westview Mall, as she got into her car with her grandchildren, a six-year-old boy and a four-year-old girl. After shoe shopping, Jane Tyson was 49 years old, married with three children and six grandchildren. She worked as a teacher's aide at a local elementary school. She went to the Westview Mall near Baltimore with her two grandchildren, Adam and Carly. As they were entering their car in the parking lot to leave, Tyson was approached by Baker, who put a gun to her head and fired once, killing her. Baker then jumped into a blue truck which fled the scene. A witness followed the blazer out of the lot and recorded the license plate number, then returned to the mall, informing police. Police spotted the vehicle and gave chase. The blazer stopped abruptly and a passenger, later identified by the witness as Baker, fled on foot. The driver, Gregory Lawrence, was arrested. The firearm used in the shooting was recovered from the blazer, and fingerprints from Baker's right hand were found on the driver's side of Tyson's vehicle. Lawrence was also convicted of murder and sentenced to life without parole. Baker was arrested a short time later, found to have blood on his shoe, sock, and leg. Subsequent testing revealed that the blood was Tyson's. Officers also found Tyson's purse and wallet in the path of Baker's flight. The firearm used in the shooting was recovered from the blazer, and fingerprints from Baker's right hand were found on the driver's side of Tyson's vehicle. Lawrence was also convicted of murder and sentenced to life without parole. Baker was convicted by a jury in the circuit court for Harford County on October 26, 1992, of first-degree murder, robbery with a deadly weapon, and use of a handgun in the commission of a felony. Four days later, he was sentenced to death by the same jury as well as 40 years in total for the other two charges. The conviction and sentence were upheld by the Maryland Court of Appeals. Lawrence was convicted of the same charges a year earlier and received life in prison plus 33 years. The court decided to uphold Baker's conviction, but there were doubts raised that Baker was the shooter. The six-year-old boy said that the shooter ran to the driver's side of the car while a member of the public said that Baker was sitting in the passenger seat. Tyson's blood was found on Baker, but police never tested the clothing of Lawrence. Fingerprints from Baker's right hand were found on Tyson's car, but Baker is right-handed, which lead the United States Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit to note in 2000. Baker was executed on December 5, 2005, and was pronounced dead at 9.18 p.m. after being executed by lethal injection. 
He was the 1,000 second execution in the United States since the Gregg vs. Georgia decision in 1976. The execution began at 9.08 p.m. at the Old Maryland State Penitentiary in Baltimore. The curtain behind the window into the execution chamber opened, and Baker could be seen lying on a gurney, covered to his chest with a white sheet. His outstretched arms were bound by leather straps, and intravenous lines came from a hole in the wall into both of his arms. Prison chaplain Charles Kapterna touched his face and right hand, then stepped away. About 9.10, Baker's mouth moved, as he appeared to speak or swallow. The chaplain approached him, said a few words and touched his face. Baker took six or seven deep breaths. Each was a rasping sound audible to the witnesses, who included media representatives three of Baker's attorneys, and Baltimore County Police Chief Terrence B. Sheridan. Four members of Tyson's family, who were not identified, watched from an area separate from the other witnesses. The curtain into the chamber was closed at 9.16 p.m. One of seven men sentenced to die in Maryland, Baker was pronounced dead at 9. 18 p.m. Baker's last meal was breaded fish, pasta with marinara sauce, green beans, an orange, bread, fruit punch and milk. He was executed only hours after the state's highest court and the U.S. Supreme Court declined to intervene in the case and less than an hour after Gov. Robert L. Ehrlich Jr. announced that he would not grant clemency. Baker was the first execution in the state since June 2004 and the fifth since the U.S. Supreme Court reinstated the death penalty in 1976. He was not asked by prison officials if he had a final statement. His lawyers said that he had made his peace and expressed remorse for what he had done. Baker showed little reaction during the injection of the lethal doses of chemicals. His breathing did become more rapid and loud, with a gasping and sucking nature. Unlike other U.S. states, Maryland does not offer the condemned a special last meal. Instead the prisoner receives whatever is on the menu the day of their death. About 50 death penalty opponents protested the execution outside under light snow. Minutes before 9 p.m. they began to sing Amazing Grace, and at the appointed execution time of 9 p.m., they broke into this little light of mine all around death row, I'm going to let it shine. In the hours before the execution, Baker was visited at the Metropolitan Transition Center the Baltimore prison that houses the state's death chamber, by his lawyer, Gary W. Christopher, his mother, Dolores Williams, and a social worker. Maryland abolished the death penalty in 2013. On December 31, 2014, Governor Martin O'Malley commuted the sentences of the final four condemned inmates to life imprisonment making Baker's execution the last execution in the state of Maryland. Thank you for watching Death Row.